Hi, boys and girls. How are you all today? It's wonderful to see you. Today is Tuesday, and it's a nice sunny day today, so it would be a great day to make sure that you all get a chance to go outside, run around, jump and play. I think I'm going to do that after we finish with our story today. Today, I'm coming to you from my back porch. There's a lot going on inside my house right now, so it was hard for me to find a spot that was nice and quiet, so I came out here so that we could read our story together out here. So you might hear some noises of lawnmowers or birds chirping. We might hear some of those noises while we're out here too. So boys and girls, today we're gonna read a little counting story together. This is the book we're gonna read. It's called Over on the Farm. It's a book about different animals and their babies. And every time we get to a new page, we're going to do some counting. So I hope you'll help me do some counting today. Are we ready? It's called Over on the Farm. The author, the person who wrote the story, is Christopher Gunson. So let's start. Let's see. Here we go. Can we see? There we go. Over on the farm, in the early morning sun, lived a clever mother cat and her little cat won. Stretch, said the mother. I stretch, said the one. So he stretched and felt warm in the early morning sun. Look, there's one little kitten. He's stretching. Can you stretch? I like to stretch first thing in the morning when I get up. I put my arms above my head and I stretch. Can you stretch with me? There we go. Let's see what's next. Hmm, we did, we counted to one. I wonder what number will come next. Over in the field, in the green and the blue, lived a woolly mother sheep and her little sheep too. Leap, said the mother. We leap, said the two. So they both leapt together in the green and the blue. Look, there's two sheep. Let's count them. Well, here's the mama and here are the babies. Ready? One, two. Those sheep were leaping. Leaping is another word for jumping. Can you jump? Go ahead, stand up and jump. Nice job. Let's see what's next. <clears throat> What do you see? I see some frogs. Over in the pond by an old willow tree lived a happy mother frog and her little froggies three. Splash, said the mother. We splash, said the three. So they splashed and they splashed by the old willow tree. Can you pretend like you're splashing? Maybe like the way you do in the bathtub. Do you ever splash the water all around? You can go splash, 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 splash. Let's count the froggies. One, two, three frogs. So we did one, two, three. How many will we have next? Over in the forest on an oak leaf floor lived a sly mother fox in her little fox's four. Rustle, said the mother. We rustle, said the four. So they rustled and they rolled on the oak leaf floor. Oh, they were rustling. That means they're kind of like plowing through. Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four. What number will be next? Over on the hill by a buzzy beehive lived a fluffy mother rabbit and her little rabbits. Five. Hop, said the mother. We hop, said the five. So they hopped and they jumped by the buzzy beehive. Can you hop like a bunny too? I know you can. I've seen you do it. Keep those two feet together and hop, hop, hop. <laughs> Let's count them. One, two, Three, four, five. Five rabbits. Oh, what animal is that? You're right, it's an owl. 
Over in the wood, in a nest made of sticks, lived a wise mother owl and her little owl's six. Blink, said the mother. We blink, said the six. So they blinked in the sunlight in the nest made of sticks. Can you blink? When you blink, it's when you shut your eyes quickly like that. That's a blink. Can everyone blink with me? Ready? Blink, blink, blink. That's silly. Let's count the owls. One, two, three, four, five, six. What number comes after six, boys and girls? Let's find out. What's that? Yeah, it looks like a chicken. Over in the orchard by a hut old and wooden lived a fussy mother hen and her little chicks seven. Scratch, said the mother. We scratch, said the seven. So they scratched and they pecked by the hut old and wooden. Scratch, so they were using like their little claws to go scratch, scratch, scratch. Let's count them, ready? One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, seven little chicks. And there's their mama, the hen. Now what do we see? Yeah, it's a duck. Over on the river in the rushes tall and straight lived a proud mother duck and her little ducks eight. Paddle, said the mother. We paddle, said the eight. So they paddled in and out of the rushes tall and straight. Oh, look at, look at all the little baby ducklings. Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven little ducklings paddling. What do you think it looks like to paddle? What would you do if you were paddling? Maybe using your arms to paddle, paddle, paddle like that. Looks like bluebirds. Over in a garden by a windy washing line lived a chirpy mother bird and her little, little birdies nine. Flap, said the mother. We flap, said the nine. So they flapped and they cheeped by the windy washing line. They were flapping. Can you pretend you're a bird and you're flapping? What would you do to flap? You take your hands and go up and down. Flap, flap, flap like a bird. Just like that. That's great. How many did we have? Ooh, I think we had nine. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine little birds. Ooh, what's that? It looks like a pig and her piglets. Over on the farm in a warm, muddy pen lived a kind mother pig in her little piggy's ten. Snuggle, said the mother. We snuggle, said the ten. So they snuggled and they slept in their warm, muddy pen. Oh, look at all the little piglets snuggling with their moms. I bet you at home like to snuggle with your special grown-up too, don't you? Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten little piglets. And look. There they all are, all the different animals from our story. And that's the end of our story called Over on the Farm. That was a fun little story, and it's fun to read stories where we can practice our counting. And I like how we all were able to do some of the movements of the animals, too. So, boys and girls, I have a little counting game that we're going to do with our hands today. It's called Hippity Hoppity How Many. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my hands, and I'm going to bang them together like this. I'm going to go hippity hoppity, and then I'm going to put up some fingers. And I want to see if you can tell me how many fingers I'm putting up. So I'm gonna go, hippity hoppity how many? How many fingers do you see? 
There are two. One, two. Let's do it again. Ready? Hippity hoppity, how many? How many fingers? Let's count them together. One, two, three, four, five. That's right. One hand equals five. Let's do it again. Hippity hoppity, how many? How many is that? You're right. That one's easy. One. Let's do it again. Hippity hoppity, how many? Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three, four. Fantastic. Ready? We'll do it again. Hippity hoppity, how many? Let's count them. Ready? One, two, three. Fantastic, boys and girls. Do you want to try to do one a little trickier with me? Let me show you what we can do. Instead of just putting up fingers on one hand, I'm going to put fingers up on two hands and see if we can count them. Ready? Here we go. Hippity hoppity, how many? Let's try. One, two, three, four. That's right, four. Let's try again. Ready? Hippity hoppity, how many? How many fingers do you see? Let's count them. One, two, three. Three fingers. Fantastic. Let's do two more. Ready? Hippity hoppity, how many? Oh, this is a big number. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six fingers. Wonderful. Let's do it one more time. Ready? Hippity hoppity, how many? I just did that one. We'll do it again. Hippity hoppity, how many? There we go. How many fingers do I have up? Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven fingers. That was a lot of fun counting. So boys and girls, that's a game that you could play. You could play it with your mom or dad or special grown-up. You could play it with a brother or sister. Or you could even play it with yourself if you want. It's a great way to practice your counting. So boys and girls, thank you so much for coming out to my porch with me and reading our story and helping me do some counting today. I hope you have a wonderful day. Remember to get outside and play if you can today. Enjoy the beautiful sunshine. I miss you all, and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye, loves.